Hi guys, this is your reading for Tuesday the 27th of June. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot for today's reading. So let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what energy you'll be working with. So let's choose our cards here and see what you'll be working with. So we have the Six of Arrows. Um, and in this deck, Arrows is Swords. Bows is ones. They've changed it around. So we have the six of arrows, the six of swords here. Then we have the five of vessels, the five of cups in reverse. And then we have the ace of bows, so the ace of ones, the spark of life. So that's the ace of ones, the ace of rods. So first of all, Let's have a look at the Six of Arrows transition here. So it may feel like you're on your own and you're carrying a lot of information that is going to take you from one point to another. So you may feel like you're on a personal journey of transformation, of change, and that you have to go on that journey by yourself. So the cards are saying that there's been some sort of internal realization which has now urged you to move into action, to take action and to move forward and to, to transition from the period you're in now to this place that you're meant to be going, okay? We've got the full moon there, big bright full moon, often causing fear, unsettlement, um, and this guy is kind of hiding. There's an element of this being cloak and dagger and keeping it secret. This is something that's just for you. So you've made the decision. Now it's time to actually begin the transition. So for example, you work as a dental hygienist, but you've decided that you want to work as a tarot card reader. You've started the transition by doing readings after work in the evening, and you're transitioning from your full-time day job of being a dental hygienist to being a tarot reader, but you're doing it slowly, you're doing it by yourself, you're doing it in secret, and it might feel a little bit scary because you don't know if it's gonna work just yet. The next card is the five of vessels in reverse, and it says ecstasy. The five of cups is usually to do with uh, perspective. It's usually to do with um, having two cards upright and three three cups spilled, or three cups upright and two cups spilled, and it's a matter of perception. Okay, so you can either look at the positive in a situation, or you can look at the negative. If you look at it positively. You will be in a state of ecstasy because positive thoughts create positive feelings and you really feel like you're manifesting something. This card is really beautiful. This could be like the card that represents a woman manifesting her reality. By creating this space, dancing and really putting the feelings out into the universe to create a reality that she wants, okay? So this card is a matter of perspective. She is optimistic and manifesting good things, so she's in a state of ecstasy and positivity. The card is reversed, so there may be a potential for you to look at the negatives. So if you're on this journey by yourself, and let's go back to the example of the dental hygienist, and now you really have had this dream to be a tarot reader for, your whole life and it isn't working the way you want to you're not getting enough clients in you're not getting enough appointments and it just doesn't seem to be working the way you want to or when you do a reading you don't feel sure enough you don't feel like the messages are coming through the way they used to something feels blocked okay so your the cards are really saying hey listen, we get it. You're working very hard. You're trying to transition. It feels difficult. And today you may feel a little bit down about it. Okay. you you feel like you're alone. You have to transition all by yourself. No one ever helps you. We hear you. We get it. You're on the right track. Try your best to keep the negativity at bay. Try and flip that around and think positive things. Realize 
the, see your business or your love life or your future the way you want it to be and build up those feelings of ecstasy within. So really deliberately force yourself to think positive thoughts until you feel more positive. Deliberately turn that card around because the final card, the Ace of Bows, the Ace of Rods or Wands, is really a blessing, a gift from the universe, and it's a gift from the universe that is a gift in the sense that it gives you your life purpose. It's a gift in terms of you're on the right track here. It's you're doing something that you're passionate about. This thing that you've chosen is going to be able to create new life. It's going to create fire. It will create heat and passion and warmth and um, all of these amazing things associated with fire. And that's what's being given to you. So the cards are really just confirming that you are on the right track in your transition. It may not be happening as quickly or as easily as you would like, but the cards are saying, don't worry, we know that you're struggling a little bit. We know that you're finding it, finding it a bit difficult. So today we are going to bless you with some sort of positive event in this transition, something that will lift your spirits, something that will renew your motivation, we're going to give you a gift here uh, that will reinforce the fact that you're on the right track. So for instance, you do a reading today with someone and it's the absolute best reading that you've ever done and you feel like you've made a personal breakthrough. But then at the end of the reading, it turns out that the, the customer uh, who you've been speaking over Skype turns his camera on and it turns out that you've just read for one of the most famous people in the world and they are thrilled and they're now going to spread the word and refer all their friends to you it's really that kind of a breakthrough of course that example was extreme just to get the point across but the universe will support you it understands that you're struggling you are on the right track so don't make any changes to what you're doing but the support will be there for you so Think positively and when good things come into your life, say thank you and be grateful and give thanks because the more gratitude you have, the more things to be grateful for will come into your life. Number wise, we've got six and five is 11 and one is 12, one and two is three and three is about new beginnings and expression. So you're moving forward, this new beginning, you're at the very start of it. So things may not be happening qu quickly. Don't give up. You're on the right track and you're at the very, very beginning stages of this. Okay, so don't worry if you haven't got 10 readings that week because you're just getting started. So it's a confirmation you're on the right track. Don't give up hope and keep doing what you're doing. You'll get there eventually. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading and we can look at what your vocational aptitudes are, what your life purpose is, anything that's coming up for you in future, in your love life, what's happening with your career, um, how finances look. If you want to ask those questions and get an idea of what's coming up for you, then please book a reading with me on the website. If you do like these videos and you want to support me, then please click subscribe and I'll speak to you tomorrow.